Test 9. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1 Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. A woman is carrying a briefcase. B. A woman is jogging in the alleyway. C. A woman is talking on the phone. D. A woman is putting on a jacket. Statement A. A woman is carrying a briefcase. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer A and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The man is looking at a laptop computer. B. The man is writing on a notepad. C. The man is talking on the phone. D. The man is opening some curtains. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. They are wearing gloves. B. They are lifting a desk. C. A woman is setting up a sign. D. A man is pushing a cart. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. Some people are waiting for a bus. B. A tree is being planted in a park. C. A street light is being repaired. D. A group of people are crossing a street. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. A hose is wound up in a sink. B. A pot is being placed on a stove. C. A container has been filled with tools. D. A man is carrying a toolbox. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. Some boxes are stacked on top of each other. B. The woman is leaning forward to reach for an item. C. The man is making a purchase. D. Some merchandise is being wrapped in paper. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. A ferry is approaching a bridge. B. Some people are casting a net from a boat. C. A ship is being unloaded at a pier. D. Some buildings are located near water. Go on to the next page. Part two. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. What time does the soccer championship game start on Thursday? A. Which team do you support? B. Kickoff is at 2 p.m. C. Yes, you're correct. Number eight. 
Would you like to sit inside the cafe or outside on the patio? A. Inside would be better. B. I ordered today's lunch special. C. A table for four, please. Number nine. Would you mind saving a seat for me? A. How many do you have? B. Sure, that's no problem. C. No, I missed the concert. Number ten. It feels a bit cold in the break room. A. Let's take a longer break. B. Yes, I took medicine for it. C. I can turn on the heater. Number eleven. Where is the best place to buy a new vacuum cleaner? A. Please start in the living room. B. It has a very powerful motor. C. Spencer Appliances has reasonable prices. Number twelve. When did you notice the problem with the printer? A. I can copy it for you. B. The text looks blurry. C. First thing this morning. Number thirteen. What computer did you order? A. Six hundred dollars. B. A lightweight laptop. C. To do my work assignments. Number fourteen. Can't the finance team issue the check early? A. No, it must be done on the fifteenth. B. Business expenses are reimbursed. C. Yes, I'm a financial advisor. Number fifteen. Why was the ice in the freezer melting? A. Because the power went out. B. An electronics store. C. I'll take ice in my drink. Number sixteen. Who's the lead researcher for this drug trial? A. Dr. Kramer is overseeing it. B. One of the main laboratories. C. It will reduce flu symptoms. Number seventeen. Are you going to renew the lease on your apartment? A. Yes, this is one of our newest products. B. It depends on whether there's a rent increase. C. Two bedrooms and a modern kitchen. Number eighteen. Could you recommend a good sporting goods store? A. Basketball and baseball. B. No, I usually watch games on TV. C. I do all of my shopping online. Number nineteen. Shouldn't we prepare name tags for the new team members? A. That's a good idea. B. My name is Jesse Lee. C. Welcome to your first day on the job. Number twenty. Why did we get charged extra for the rental car? A. I'll just take the subway. B. At the nearest branch. C. It wasn't returned on time. Number twenty-one. This bag will fit in the overhead compartment, won't it? A. Let's measure it again to check. B. Thanks. It was too heavy for me. C. I'm taking a flight to New Zealand. Number twenty-two. What kind of visa will our client from Taiwan need? A. Ask Melanie in HR. 
B. Yes, I've been there a few times. C. I wish I would have thought of that. Number 23. Can I leave my briefcase in the conference room over lunch? A. We won't be coming back here. B. The product launch was a success. C. Documents for the sales pitch. Number 24. Why was this parcel returned to us? A. Yes, we offer exchanges and refunds. B. Yesterday morning, I think. C. It had the wrong address. Number 25. How can we attract more people to the apple picking event? A. It has an attractive design. B. By lowering the entry fee. C. Go to the registration booth. Number 26. There is a penalty for parking here. A. I don't mind giving you a ride. B. You can borrow my pen. C. Even for emergency vehicles? Number 27. Who installed the wiring in your home? A. Wireless Internet Technology. B. A five-day process. C. I'll give you his business card. Number 28. Hasn't Erica completed the performance reviews? A. She's still on medical leave. B. We really enjoyed the show. C. She competed vigorously. Number 29. How late does this restaurant serve breakfast? A. Yes, I'll have the same thing. B. The menu doesn't say. C. $9.99 plus tax. Number 30. Did you know the pharmacy is closing early today? A. These ingredients are from a nearby farm. B. I have a doctor's appointment. C. Then I'll have to pick up my prescription now. Number 31. You have a key to the side entrance, don't you? A. Mainly employees and delivery personnel. B. It's on Amherst Boulevard. C. Yes, and I can open it for you. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Our store has just received a delivery of five crates of bottled water. Is this correct? Yes. There's a music festival at Mathis Park today. Since our supermarket is the only one in the neighborhood, a lot of people will be stopping by for snacks and drinks. It's going to be a busy day. Oh, I see. Do we need to call some extra staff members to come in? Ms. Newton has already done that, and I'll move the bottled water display near the entrance so people can find it easily. Number 32. Where do the speakers work? Number 33. According to the woman, why will the business be busy today? Number 34. What does the woman say she will do?
Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Good morning. I'm interested in having some business cards printed. Can your business handle that? Of course. You just have to provide the text and any logo or graphics you'd like. Then I'll send you the sample design by email so you can approve it. That sounds perfect. The cards are for a new staff member who starts work on July 7th. Will they be ready by then? Certainly. If you send me the information today, I can have them done by tomorrow afternoon. Number 35. What is the conversation mainly about? Number 36. Why will the man send an email to the woman? Number 37. According to the woman, what will happen on July 7th? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. James and Patricia, thanks for assisting with the open house for the property on Camden Street. This is an important client for our real estate firm. It's too bad that so few people attended the open house, though. Yeah, the small number of visitors was a letdown. Well, we can feature the property on our website to give it more exposure. Good point, Patricia. Could you go to the house today and take more pictures of it? That would be good for the online listing. Number 38. What kind of business do the speakers work for? Number 39. What were the speakers disappointed by? Number 40. What is Patricia asked to do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. The open interviews for the positions at our firm will be held on Thursday. Are there any more preparations that need to be made? We've advertised heavily, so we expect a great turnout. Some of our HR employees will be conducting on-the-spot interviews. I've made a schedule for the times they'll cover. I'll print out duplicates tomorrow. Great. Can I help you with anything? Well, last year we conducted several interviews at once in the main hall. It was a bit noisy, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Why don't we reserve smaller meeting rooms so that the interviews can be private? I'll take care of that. Number 41. What is the conversation mainly about? Number 42. What does the woman plan to do tomorrow? Number 43. What does the man recommend doing? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon. I saw in the newspaper that your business is having a sale. I'd like to buy a sapphire necklace. If the display case is empty, it means we're sold out. We'll get a new shipment on Tuesday, though. Well, I was planning to buy it as a birthday gift. The celebration is this evening. We have a wide range of necklaces with other precious gems. I'm sure you could find something you like. Hmm. I really need the sapphire one so that it matches some other accessories my friend has. Would you mind looking in the stockroom just to make sure? Number 44. Where does the woman most likely work? Number 45. What does the man suggest when he says, The celebration is this evening. Number 46. What does the man ask the woman to do?
Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Ms. Meisner, thanks for taking the time to give me a tour of your facility. It's my pleasure. I think our concert hall would be perfect for your orchestra's annual show. I know that you held it at the Pelham Center last year. May I ask why you decided to make a change? Well, the seating capacity there was too low. There were a lot of people who were unable to get tickets. I understand. That definitely won't be a problem here. Wonderful. We'll go with your site. How soon could you draw up the contract? It'll take three days to prepare it. I'll send it to you as soon as it's ready. Number 47. Where does the woman work? Number 48. According to the man, what was the problem last year? Number 49. What will the woman send to the man in three days? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Tessa, I want you to design some brochures for Griffin Furniture. They have some new mattresses and bed frames that they want to inform their customers about. No problem. I've worked closely with Griffin Furniture for a long time, so I know their needs well. I know. That's why I thought you'd be the right person for this project. The work needs to be completed by the day after tomorrow. That's soon. You know, I'm supposed to be working on some business cards for Lowry Co. Why don't you pass that duty on to Gina? The Griffin Furniture Project is much more important, so I want you to give it your full attention. Number 50. Where is the conversation most likely taking place? Number 51. According to the man, why did he want to assign the task to the woman? Number 52. What does the man think the woman should do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. You've reached Ollie Commercial Kitchen Supplies. How may I help you? Hello. I bought an oven for my bake shop last week, but it's not working like I expected. What seems to be the problem? Well, the oven is not shutting off on its own after the timer goes off. I've already burned several batches of bread. I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Have you tried resetting the oven? That usually solves the problem.、Hmm, I'm not sure how to do that. It's difficult to explain over the phone, but take a look at the manual that came with the device. Those instructions should be clear. Number 53. What business does the man operate? Number 54. According to the man, What is the problem with a product? Number 55. What does the woman instruct the man to do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Veronica, we've got to finish up the work here at Arcadia Co.'s offices before moving on to the public library. Okay, I just have one floor of windows left to clean. Max, would you meet me on the third floor to work on them with me? The carpets didn't get clean after passing the steam cleaner over them just once. They need a second run. All right, then I'll take care of the rest of the windows myself. And don't forget that the truck's going to be here at 8 30 to pick up the dumpster. So let's get back together at 8 o'clock to empty all of the garbage bins. Sounds great. Number 56. Where is the conversation taking place? Number 57. Why does the man say they need a second run?
Number 58. What do the speakers plan to do at 8 o'clock? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Lewis, our CEO wants to transition from print copies to online editions for the magazines we publish. More and more people are using smartphones to consume information, so this will better position our company for the future. That makes sense, but I don't think our current staff can handle a project like that at the moment. We'll need a lot more people to do the work properly. Well, there is going to be a recruiting expo in Toronto in May. Maybe our company could have a booth there to hire the new employees we need. Number 59. What industry do the speakers work in? Number 60. Why is the man worried? Number 61. What event will take place in Toronto in May? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and floor plans. Hello, I'm planning to move to the Fairmont neighborhood next month so that I don't have to commute so far to my office. I need a one bedroom apartment. I can help you with that. These apartments here are available for move in next month. Hmm. I think this studio would be too small for me. Yes, it's only about 600 square feet. Well, I have a budget of $700 per month. You can see here that we have a one bedroom apartment that's $675 per month. It's in a new building, too. Wonderful. I'd like to tour the property as soon as possible. Let me reserve the next available time slot for you. Number 62. Why does the man plan to move to the Fairmont neighborhood? Number 63. Look at the graphic. Which building has an apartment that the man is interested in? Number 64. What will the woman most likely do next? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and list. Christina, have you written the description of our business for the Lindenberg Guidebook yet? We need to submit it today so that our facility will be listed. Yes, I've just finished a draft that you can look over. I've outlined the equipment and classes that we offer at our gym. There's also information about how to get a one day pass, which I think will be of interest to tourists. That's perfect. This will be great publicity for us because the guidebook goes out to 95% of the hotels in the area and all of the tourist centers and travel agencies. Number 65. What task has the woman been assigned? Number 66. Look at the graphic. In which section would the speaker's business most likely appear? Number 67. What benefit of the guidebook does the man mention? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and map. Hi, Debbie. It's Colin. I'm really sorry, but I'm going to be late for the dinner with our new client, Mr. Porter. My car wouldn't start, so I had to take the bus instead. Oh, I see. The reservation is at 7 at Willow Steakhouse, right? Yes, that's right. It's in Perkins Plaza. I don't want Mr. Porter to be waiting at the restaurant, though. Could you meet him there and welcome him? Of course. How late do you think you'll be? 
Hmm. We're passing the Odell Mall right now, so it'll be about 30 minutes. All right. We'll order some appetizers in the meantime. Number 68. What problem does the man mention? Number 69. What is the woman asked to do? Number 70. Look at the graphic. Where is the man near now? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Thank you all for coming to this staff meeting. With the summer holidays approaching, we're expecting a lot more daytime visitors to our library. Next month will be the start of our youth literacy program. We want to get more children and teenagers interested in reading. The book club meetings for this event are currently supposed to last two hours. I think this is a bit too long, so I suggest changing them to one hour. I'll explain my reasons for this. While I'm doing so, please make sure you sign the attendance sheet that I'm passing around. Number 71. What is the speaker mainly discussing? Number 72. What does the speaker suggest changing? Number 73. What are the listeners asked to do? Question 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Mr. Coulter. This is Maria from the Property Management Office. The resurfacing project for the apartment building's lot will not be finished today as previously announced. I told the construction company that we had 40 spots, but it's actually 60, so they didn't bring enough materials. I'm sorry about that issue. You won't be able to use the lot until Saturday morning. I've got a temporary street parking pass for you here at the office, so please come pick it up. Number 74. What does the speaker say has been delayed? Number 75. Why does the speaker make an apology? Number 76. What is the listener asked to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Welcome, everyone, to this VIP tour of Tacoma Studios. I hope you have an enjoyable time as you learn about how we produce our movies from start to finish. We'll tour both current and old sets, and you might even see some filming going on. Throughout the tour, please don't hesitate to share your questions. I'll do my best to answer them. Before we begin, however, I'd like you to look over the handout I gave you, which explains our policy regarding what you can and cannot photograph. Since this tour includes a free lunch, I'll be passing out vouchers for our on-site cafe once the tour is finished. So don't leave without one. Number 77. Where does the speaker work? Number 78. According to the speaker, what should the listeners do first? Number 79. What does the speaker say the listeners will receive at the end of the tour?
Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following information. Good afternoon. I'm Sue Miller, and I'd like to thank you for coming to this orientation session. I'll be teaching you all about what to expect from our company in general and your role specifically. To start off, I have some written materials to pass out. A lot of people say that it's better to have you read the policies on your own, but we're going to go through them together. You can get your questions answered right away. After the first two sessions, we'll have a break at four o'clock for coffee and snacks. After that, you'll hear a talk from the company's president. Number 80. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 81. Why does the speaker say? You can get your questions answered right away. Number 82. What will take place at 4 p.m.? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following broadcast. You're listening to Business Time on Radio 89.6 FM. Our guest today is Ayan Naidu, owner of a successful accounting firm in Oakhurst. His business started with just a few people, but it has grown to a staff of over 30, and it continues to grow. Mr. Naidu knows firsthand the challenges of managing a business. He's got some great tips on how to make your staff efficient and avoid wasting time. He'll be sharing those with you today. If you have a specific inquiry for Mr. Naidu, be a part of the discussion by emailing us through the station's homepage. We look forward to hearing from you. Number 83. What kind of business does Mr. Naidu own? Number 84. What will Mr. Naidu discuss during the broadcast? Number 85. What does the speaker encourage the listeners to do? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following instructions. Before we open the store, I just want to remind you that we have author Colette Ward coming next week for a book signing event. Be sure to tell shoppers about it and encourage them to attend. We've moved Ms. Ward's latest book to a large display near the checkout area. As for her other novels, we haven't done anything, so you know where they are. Please ignore the work schedule that I emailed on June 3rd. I have made some adjustments due to the event, so I'll be sending a new one later today. Number 86. What are the listeners asked to do? Number 87. What does the speaker suggest when he says, We haven't done anything. Number 88. What does the speaker mention about the schedule issued on June 3rd? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following news report. It's 5 o'clock, time for the community news report. City officials have announced plans for a cleanup day at Bonway Park this Saturday. Volunteers from around the community will assist with picking up litter, planting flowers, and painting playground equipment. Local hardware store Chester Hardware has generously contributed paint and brushes for the project. If you are interested in volunteering for this project, please call Robert Tyndall at the City Planner's Office. Please note that water will be provided, but volunteers are encouraged to bring a packed lunch if they plan to stay all day. To see before and after photographs of the park, check out the city's website after the weekend. Number 89. What is the main topic of the report? Number 90. 
According to the speaker, what has a local business done? Number 91. According to the speaker, what can listeners do on the website? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Mr. Ferguson. It's Tiffany Baldwin from Alston Renewables. I got your message saying that you are interested in having solar panels installed on the rooftop of your office building. By using our products, you can greatly reduce your monthly electricity bills. We installed a system at Shoal Tech a few months ago, and they cut their bills by 80% without making any other changes. As you can see, the system easily pays for itself over time. I would be happy to visit your business next week to discuss the options further. I'll be out of town on business on Tuesday, but any other day is OK. Please call me back at 555-7799. Number 92. What does the speaker's business most likely specialize in? Number 93. Why does the speaker say? They cut their bills by 80%. Number 94. What does the speaker plan to do on Tuesday? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following broadcast and information. You're listening to Home Solutions, the show that brings tips to all of those mums and dads out there trying to keep things running smoothly. And speaking of smooth... We've got some tasty smoothie recipes for you today. They're easy to make, and you can get your kids to eat more fruit. Now, the thing I love about smoothies is that you can just use what you have on hand. For example, the other day, I didn't have any almond milk, so I used cream and ice cubes instead. It was delicious. We'd like to hear what you think of these recipes and our show, so please leave a comment on our website. Number 95. Who is the broadcast intended for? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which recipe has the speaker tried adjusting? Number 97. What are the listeners encouraged to do? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following instructions and schedule. It's a pleasure to welcome you all to the annual conference of video game developers. I hope you enjoy meeting others in your field. Lunch will be served in room 103 at 12.30 p.m., so don't forget to tell the staff at the registration desk whether you want the vegetarian roll or the ham sandwich. Also, please note that there has been a change in the schedule. The speaker for the 11 o'clock time slot missed his flight. Therefore, Keith Baxter will be filling in with a different presentation at 11 o'clock. Before we begin... Daniel Holland, who oversees all of this building's operations, will give you a quick safety briefing about fire evacuation procedures. Number 98. What are the listeners reminded to do? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which talk has been replaced? Number 100. Who is Daniel Holland? This is the end of the listening test.